This is Apostle Esther Jeff Musonye on Quiz Show on Gospel Full Hundred. And our next guest of today is Austin Mandela. Um, and I'm here to ask some questions here. Nikona maswali ngumu? Letter yote. Nikona maswali ngumu. Katika Yesu tunaweza. There is this question eh, yes. that has, has been around for a while. Eh? Mm -hmm. First of all, is it okay to question God? Yes, He is your Father. Uh -huh. Yes. So it's okay to question God? It is. Okay, that's, mm -hmm. that's good because I have questions. So, mm -hmm. um, God knows everything, right? He does. Like God and everything, like from the start to the end, at the end of the day. So is it is it okay if I say that uh, life is scripted since God ana God ndiye anaona everything na yeye ndiye allow everything ifanyike So unauliza kama life is scripted yeah. according to him and according to the word of God who is the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end mm -hmm. he was there before the creation and mm -hmm. after the creation he will still be mm -hmm. yes he knew you from your mother's womb yes life is scripted so life is scripted. Yes. So uh, does it mean now that kuna wenye watenda heaven na kuna wenye watenda, watenda hell? Mm -hmm. Does it mean kuna watu wako doomed mm -hmm. kuenda hell? Kama shetani uh -huh. na wenye walikata neno la Mungu. Kwa sababu uh -huh. Biblia inasema ya kwamba uh -huh. I have given you an open door. I have given you a choice. Choose life or death. So hii story ya mtu kwenda hell na heaven it is solely your decision. Si Mungu. So hapo si God. Hapo, hapo, hapo si Mungu kwa sababu si scripture yes, God. Scripture inasema ya kwamba alituumba mm. tumuabudu. Remember Genesis chapter number 1. Mm. He created man to worship him. Mm. But in verse number 13 chapter number 13 uh, 3 sorry chapter number 3 of Genesis mm -hmm. the devil came and deceived man. Mm -hmm. And the man the man fell. From there death came. From there, sin came to the world, mm -hmm. and we were separated from God. It is until Jesus came to reconcile us. Mm -hmm. Now that one is purely. So from the beginning, mm -hmm. God had created man for himself. But because of the choice of man, he decided to, keep, to take himself to do, to do, to hell. Okay, speaking of the devil, eh? Mm -hmm. Now that God mwenye alishindwa kukana u devil, uko heaven. <laughs> ya alifikiri aje si tutakana eh. Ya, ya alishindwa kukana eh. <laughs> eh? Sasa, oh. unajua shetani <clears throat> eh, alikuwa na ni mungu alimuumba. Mm. Vile umesama life ya mtu ni scripted. Mm -hmm. Na alipo muumba ya, ya shetani, kumbuka alikuwa malaika. Yeah. Alikuwa cherubim. Mm -hmm. Alikuwa the the yeye yeah, ndiye alikuwa anaongoza praise and worship bengoni mm -hmm. na kwa sababu ya kutaka kuwa kama Mungu mm -hmm. kwa sababu ya rebellion mm -hmm. akaanguka mm -hmm. na kwa sababu haku repent mm -hmm. haku kiri mm -hmm. alianguka kabisa na yeye mwenyewe ndiye amekataa ku, ku reconcile mm -hmm. so what has happened the devil kwa sababu hali kataa kuomba msamaha hawezi kana Mungu mbinguni na hawezi kuwa kwa sababu yeye mwenyewe ni Mungu by himself. Mm -hmm. Yeye mwenyewe alijifanya ka Mungu. Ka Mungu. Aabudiwe. Aabudiwe. Ainuliwe, a, a, inamiwe. Mm -hmm. Lakini kama kuna kitu Mungu hawezi samea ni kitu inaitwa blasphemy. Uh -huh. The sin of blasphemy Mungu hawezi samea. Mm -hmm. Na hizo dhambi zingine kama mwanadamu sasa kwa sababu tumeumbwa kwa mfano wa Mungu. Mm -hmm. Wakati tuna tuna roho wa Mungu tunaishi Na ndio kwa sababu wanaishi na sisi na nakubali kuishi na sisi kwa udhaifu wetu. Kwa sababu sisi ni wanadamu tu wa mwili na nyama lakini sisi ni watoto wake. Kumbuka Mungu anapokuita mwana wake either unatenda dhambi ama utendi dhambi bado wewe ni mwana wake kwa sababu gani? Anytime he's always waiting for you to repent and he knows your heart. But the God knows the heart and mind of man. So he knows when you wanaenda kwa shetani direct. Ngo, ngu, roho zao kama feru. Mm -hmm. Alimalizwa. Herod, Mungu anasema, Biblia anasema, ni mimi nilikubali kumfanya roho yake iwe ngumu to destruction. Hata Mungu anakuaga na the hand for people to for destruction. Angalia Saul. Alimwambia, usipo ni badilisha, nitakumaliza. He died as a king. He was with God for only 2 years in leadership, mm -hmm. but 30 more than 30 years God was not with him. At times God allows us the Bible says he will allow us into our own desire, lustful desire. 
like Sodom and Gomorrah. Anakumaliza tu like the times of Noah. Anakumaliza tu lakini the reason anakaa na watu ni kwa sababu the more anakaa na wewe ni kwa sababu anajua moyo wako. Anajua wewe bado unampenda. What is hindering you is your weakened weakness, not wickedness. Mm -hmm. God destroyed destroys wickedness but not weaknesses. Because in our weakness he is our strength. Mm -hmm. So anajua si kwa nguvu zako bali ni kwa nguvu za roho mtakatifu utaishi kwa sababu anajua roho yako. Okay. He's the only one mm -hmm. who knows the heart of men and the devil. Mm -hmm. So anakujua kindani na kinzi. That's why ana, anaishi na nyinyi. That's mm -hmm. why ana, alijua mtatabu mtatoboa. Alijua tutatoboa. Yes. Okay, another question yeah. Uh, hey, na hizi question ngumu <laughs> <laughs> another, another, another question now mm. that umesema God anajua kuna wale wenye wataenda hell mm. na anajua kuna wale wataenda heaven mm -hmm. meaning already anajua how everything will turn out in the end yeah right si ndio mm -hmm. anajua already kwa book zake anajua wao ndio wanaenda heaven na wao ndio wanaenda hell si ndio mm -hmm. so ule mtu mwenye hat, kwa sababu sisi wote tumefall bible nasema sisi wote tumefall mm -hmm. si ndio kabisa huyo mtu mwenye ako ako doomed mm. ama amejidumu yeye mwenyewe kwenda hell mm. uh, nataka kuuliza in, in this way kuna mm. mi za christian ya mm. mi kuna mi kuna ukweli yenye nimejua mm. kuna muhindi somewhere kuna um, sijika nafaa ku mention jina lakini mm. kuna the, those are other religions ya yeah, mm. where wana worship hizo idols ya yeah. they worship the idols you understand mm. but hawajakuja hawa kujua ukweli yenye mimi ninajua mm -hmm. so how atakuwa judge daje sasa mm. bibilia inasema in the days of ignorance god alikubaliana na hiyo story lakini kwa sababu ya wisdom na kwa sababu ya knowledge ya Mungu mm. akasema in the book of Matthew and this gospel king uh, gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to the uttermost of the world hakuna vile Mungu atakujaji kabla haujasikia neno na lazima neno la Mungu litafika na imeanza already mm -hmm. imeanza through internet sasa hii ni wapi internet haiko kwa internet kwa Yes, mm -hmm. ni wapi watu wahubiri everywhere everywhere everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, as long as the word of God ina itafika to the uttermost of the world, then the Bible says then the end will come. Okay. The end will come immediately. Mm -hmm. Every word imeenda kwa every village, mm -hmm. imeenda kwa every mpaka hell watu wanahubiriwa lakini mm -hmm. hell sasa unajua wewe repent. Sasa unahubiriwa kwa nini? Sasa unajua bado sasa wewe mwenyewe ndo unajihubiri unasema Mungu nisamee lakini it's too late. Aweze kusabea. Aweze ime yako So mwenye amekufa bila kujua ukweli mm. ako na tiketi ya kwenda heaven. Hakuna mtu amekufa bila kujua ukweli. Kila mtu alihubiriwa kwa Sunday school kwa matatu kwa ma, kwa streets Le, kwa hospitali. Let's say a seven year old kid. Ah kila mtu amehubiriwa injili. <laughs> kila kwa TV kila mtu amehubiriwa injili. Since sure? everybody in the kwa TV <laughs> watu wamehubiriwa injili. Hakuna mahali ingeje kujifika. Aisha kuna somewhere mtu somewhere tu eh. kwa mstuni maybe alikufa akiwa 7 years old ajui anything about. Christ. So mstuni nani alikuwa amempeleka huko? Eh? Si bi, maybe tu watu wao waliamua kuishi huko Congo yeah. Forest maybe. Hiyo ni miaka gani? <laughs> <laughs> kwa sababu to be honest mm. watoto wamesikia injili kanisani hata ukipita. Mm -hmm. Kwa kanisa kuna mtu tu anahubiri. Wewe uko home lakini kuna tu speaker iko nje inatangaza Yesu. Mm -hmm ukienda mahali popote mm -hmm. ni kwa barabara sayu ukienda hapa lunch hawa watu wanahubiri injili ni nyinyi tu muna ignore uh -huh. by the way but hakuna mtu ataenda kwa sababu hakusikia injili injili lazima inahubiriwa kila mahali then the end will come asante nimesikia mm -hmm. mm -hmm. na sasa pia kuna kitu kingine mm -hmm. huyo mtoto wa seven years mm -hmm. ya yeah, kama hakukiri because pia Mungu wako kila mahali mm -hmm. roho wa Mungu wako kila mahali ana convict how many people wameokoka kwa sababu ya ndoto wali encounter Mungu through vision through dreams mm -hmm. through voices mm -hmm. like nani alihubiria Samuel uh -huh. aliitu alisikia sauti alisikia sauti akasikia yeah. kwanza ya pili ya tatu, tatu yeah. akaendea Eli akamwambia ni wewe unanisema next ukisikia the third time sema here i am lord so kuna watu wamepata hata kwa muslim countries asian countries mm -hmm. kwa prison mm -hmm. watu wengi sana ukiuliza mm -hmm. wali encounter na Mungu kwa sababu anakujua na anajua roho yako wali encounter na Mungu in dreams and visions na wakaokoka. Okay. So in short God ana ana make sure kila mtu amepata word. Yes. Hata wewe mtu wewe, wewe mtu mzima, yes. but in the end ata make sure umepata word. Sasa wewe ndio utachagua kama utakubali ama utakata. Yes. Asante sana. Today's quiz we were with Minister Austin who has brought it hot. Ai, serving it hot. And but by the grace of God we know this gospel must be preached to every other person and then the end will come. 
I always keep it gospel full hundred on our YouTube channel. God bless you. I've been your host, Apostle Dr. Esther Jeff Musonye, and see you next time as I wait for your questions.